without jumping the Fiat, off goes Giovanni right into a proverbial Italian traffic jam. It's hopeless. He's sweating. He's drenched. And he sees a carabinieri, one important Italian cop. And he goes over. He says, help me. You've got to help me. i got a pope on the other side of town waiting for this pizza. He wants it hot. So the, the carabinieri says, don't worry. You follow me. So he, he gets the thing going. And he goes right on top of the piazza, you know, through up on sidewalks. Giovanni's right behind him. He cuts through the traffic jam, gets right to the Vatican, screeches to a halt. And Giovanni runs up with the pizza up the stairs of the Vatican. When Giovanni comes out with the empty blanket, he sees the cop down there still waiting. The cop motions him over. So he goes down and, and he says, Officer, yes, what, what do you want? The officer says, you know, I figure this way. If it weren't for me, you never would have got us a pizza here hot. I insist on half of the tip. Giovanni says, okay, you insist. <laughs> The Lord did not choose to, to make himself present under the forms of pizza and beer. He made himself present to us, his body and blood present to us, under the forms of bread and wine for a really important reason. Bread is our basic daily nourishment. Give us this day our daily bread, and the Our Father is a prayer for all of our needs and all of our necessities, but it's also understood by the fathers of the church as being a prayer for the spiritual nourishment we need on a daily basis, the Eucharist and the Word of God. In John 6, Jesus said that he is the bread of life, the bread that comes down from heaven to give life to the world. If you want to understand the Eucharist, pray slowly and read carefully John chapter 6. The bread of the Eucharist recalls the manna. Deuteronomy 8 says, manna was given us to show us that it's not by bread alone that man lives, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. So bread, the sign of our daily nourishment, uh, the sign of spiritual nourishment. John 10.10 says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Not just a little bit, not just a little tiny taste, but the Lord wants us to fully experience his life. When you think about blood and what we know about it now, we know that Every cell in our body needs to be bathed with blood in order for us to stay alive. It not only nourishes, but it cleanses and purifies our system. And so the blood of Christ taken in communion cleanses our entire being spiritually. It gives life to us spiritually and sometimes also physically, if it be God's will. And that's why we need to come before the Lord in the Eucharist, realizing that who we're taking upon our lips and into our bodies is the same one that raised Lazarus the same one who healed the man born blind, the same one who himself is the risen one, the one who will come again in glory as judge of the living and the dead. That is awesome. And we need to come before him with faith 